Hey filmmakers, Sean here. So have you heard that Sony are making a drone that works with their Sony mirrorless camera? It is actually a drone that is basically for a lot of professional filmmakers, especially when there are filmmakers who are using Sony mirrorless cameras, making short films and even feature films. And they are looking for having like an overall package or basically staying within the same color space using for example like x log but also you have like nowadays uh with like the sony a7 s3 that you can record raw over the hdmi and uh yeah also the benefit of using the sony a7 s3 with a drone is enabling to have like really high iso values and still having clean images while flying the drone at night but looking at the Airpeak, is it also something that consumers would like? I would say it's not really targeted for normal consumers. And also it is on like a probably a more expensive price, but also it isn't as uh, easily used by consumers. It's mostly aimed and targeted for a lot of professionals and also have that professional hefty price with it. The biggest issue I can see with the Airpeak is actually the size of it and especially when you want to transport it, it needs a big flight case or a big Pelican case and making it really hard to actually bring with you while you're traveling. But also knowing a lot of professional uh, yeah, filmmakers and also drone flyers, a lot of them have actually left behind their old drones that are using with uh, the mirrorless cameras or even like drones with like the uh, Inspire or like Phantom drones and gone more for like the more compact Mavic series especially with the Mavic 2 Pro with the larger sensor it is a much more easier uh, drone to carry with you because the size of the drone is uh, yeah very close to a size of just one lens or a one camera so it means much less uh, space is used and also you can carry it around inside of your backpack. But one thing is looking at the Airpeak is actually seeing it as them trying to make a professional high-end drone and basically knowing or learning about the technology and trickle it down to like a more consumer level drone that they might release after. So basically we might see in the future small drones from Sony themselves and also have like more like consumer level uh, design that would fit with more people to buy it. So a drone that I would rather see is something that is more for the consumer and something that um, might be really possible is using the sensor of the Arc Zero or the RX100 series which is like a one inch sensor with uh, backlight illumination making it really good for low light situations but also uh, yeah, having like the Sony colors and also the S-Log profile enable you to match it really well with other Sony cameras. But also like, uh, yeah, we can compare it with an existing DJI uh, drone, which is the Mavic 2 Pro with the Hasselblad camera and which is also like a one inch sensor. So yeah, that would be probably like something that Sony should aimed towards and actually enable them really to compete with DJI if they would make something like that. And yeah, what is your opinion about the Airpeak and would you like to actually purchase the Airpeak or what kind of drones would you expect in the future from Sony? Please comment it in the comment section here below. And while you're there, please also hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to see more videos, there'll be videos popping up right now that you can click on. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.